Hello guys, welcome to Steve Knows. Today I'm going to show off the Your VR Simulator. This is a motion simulator that you can have in your very own home to play some epic virtual reality titles in the most immersive way possible. And this thing is nuts. So I'm going to show you a time lapse of it being built. I'm going to show you how to test it once it's all set up. I'm going to show you the game engine that's used to play some virtual reality titles. And I'm going to show you some gameplay of a roller coaster, a driving title and Grand Theft Auto 5, which I had a ton of fun doing. So some context, the AllVR simulator is available for around $1,500 for the basic package and $2,000 for the pro one. So when the thing arrives, it actually comes in this massive, massive crap. It feels like you've just got something from Raiders of the Lost Ark shipped to you. It's pretty impressive and it's a struggle to get out. It is tied in there securely and well protected, which is a positive, I guess. So putting this whole thing together, it did not take three days like Linus did, but it didn't take half an hour like they say on their website either. To build it, realistically, it did take me about an hour to set up because these screws do not fit perfectly in. I did have some issues. You are trying to screw into metal and perhaps I just didn't have the equipment to do it. So there is definitely some elbow grease required to get this set up securely, but we did it. And obviously there's a bit of a learning curve where you have to learn the setup, learn the software, patch the games. Um, but once you've got that, it's relatively quite easy to get ready and start playing in this thing with one of the games you've got installed. Something I don't really cover in this video though is sim tools. So if you're all familiar with that software or you don't mind upskilling, you can create custom uh, motion simulated experiences and also adapt this to other games. The build quality on this though, I gotta say I am pretty impressed. It feels incredibly stable and solid. It doesn't feel like I'm just sitting in some cheap product. So that is definitely a big, big plus. So there are a few sections on this. There's a footrest which comes off at the end and there's also an add-on to that where you put your steering wheel. You also get another plate if you want to connect a HOTUS to it. If you're into your flying games or flighting simulators, there's a backrest so you can put your head on it. There's also the wok, I like to call it the wok that you sit in and that's the bowl that gets rotated around while you're playing your games. And also then the base, which has the LED lights and, and, and the mechanics that actually move you around. So now the product is built, we have to set it up and you can do that via your mobile device like so. Go to the app store, search your VR and install the your VR application. Once downloaded, launch, it will look for devices on the network and it won't find any because it's not connected to the internet, so scan with Bluetooth. Your VR simulator should appear, select that and connect to it. Then you can connect the device to the Wi-Fi by sending over the Wi-Fi password via your phone, nice and easy. Wait for it to connect and you are done, you are now connected and you can now fiddle with this application. Let's go into this a bit more. With this thing, once it's set up, what you want to do is you have this application on your phone that you use to control everything. So if you, first thing you want to do is you want to center it. So grab the your, put it central where the your simulator thing is at the bottom, the light. And then you want to tap the C button, which calibrates the, the, the left and right. And then hold the C button to calibrate the kind of all of the vertices. And then now, now that should be... That should be calibrated. So now you can sit in it and start having some fun with some of the, the calibration options that you've got available. Such A is okay. So let's turn this on. Start. I'm I'm now level on the phone. You can control the power, which is the, how intense this is going to be throwing me around. And it gets intense. Roll, which is the left and right. What's the degree that you want to? Want to go? I'll just put it on full for demonstration purposes. All of this is going to be nuts. The pitch forward, oop, how far down? I had to, I couldn't put that all the way up because I actually started hitting the floor. So be wary of that. Like I have a wooden floor. You don't want to dent it. The backwards pitch is 
going that way, that's fine. The your limit, you can choose whether to limit it or not. If you don't want to limit it, you can just untick the box and it will just allow you to completely rotate and also enable vibration. So I'm going to put the your limit on to uh, 180 as well, just so you can see everything. So to test this out, if you go from the limits tab to the diag tab, the, so the diagnostics, and click test mode. Boop. There we go. It's moving around for me. Down. There we go. You then want to select manual mode. It will go back to the default position that you've set and then you can start fiddling with these options. So like vibration, the yaw, here we go. Whoa. <laughs> See, I got it on full power and it charks you. So I've got to be very gentle here. Whoa. There we go. Oh. Dangerous pitch. There's the forward pitch, but it only goes as low as what I've limited it in the initial, in the initial setup. Back. Whoop! I go all the way back because that's what I've set the limit as. Whoa! Roll. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, I've set it to the 35 degrees. <laughs> it goes all the way, all the way the other way. Whoa! Dun dun dun. And that's, just, that's how you can make sure that you've set this up. You then do like granular changes on the intensity of those or the intensity of, of each game, which will be on the game engine. I'll show you in a bit. We can also change the LEDs. Whoop. So we go to, we just slide across. Let's change the color Let, like this blue. Okay. Aha, different color. We can change the lighting mode. It's on chasing mode at the moment. If I just turn that off, it just stays on. We can do blinking. <laughs> Pulse kind of fades in, or the chasing one is the kind of the, the futuristic looking. One. So now we're going to the PC. We're going to look at the game engine because here is where it will give you instructions on how to configure the games, and also you can make granular changes to each game that will live in the confines of the of the configuration and the limitations that we set up on the mobile device just a second ago. So what you'll see here, you'll see all the network, all the devices that are available on your network because this is connected to your internet. So click on your VR simulation or simulator, sorry, that's referring to that. And here you have all of the games that are set up by default to make use of the your motion simulator. So for example, let's choose um, let's choose GTA 5. So Grand Theft Auto 5. We will, let's just say this is all set up. We're here at GTA 5. We now um, are, we're running the game on Steam. We'd, collect, we'd select start plugin, which will just give you a prompt to make sure that GTA 5 is running. You can reset the orientation here as well. Your, you can also then select start device, which will actually kick off the yaw. The yaw will start moving. Once you click start device, you'll, whoop, there it is going. You get activity from it. And that's how you know that it's running. But to make granular changes on a game to game basis, you'll come to the game, you'll get this window here, and then you'll select axis and vibration. On the right, you'll see the output that's being affected by each of these. So here you see the yaw is being affected by the vehicle heading. So which way it's being, which way you're facing in vehicle. And yaw, remember, is the, is the rotation. So if we want to change the intensity of that in game, of what this game is actually occurring, then we'll just reduce this. If we actually want it to go all out, we can increase the number here as well. Something that's really, really good about this, I like, is the is the plugin manager. So all of the games that are available here, if you've got them installed, you can just select local locate install paths and it will find where all the games are actually installed. Then when you go to the game here in this display, you can just select patch game and it will do all of the setup for you. So you just have to run the game. There are a few exceptions where you have to add commands in the, in the Steam load up. This is a great tip. If you just want to set up GTA 5 for virtual reality use and not use it with the your anyways, download this. Then all you have to do is select patch game and it will download that virtual reality configuration and adjust all of the files in the GTA 5 directory for you and you don't have to do anything, just that one click and it's set up for VR. It's really, really, really useful. But I think that's enough. Let's try this out in action. Let's try a roller coaster. Let's try a racing game. Let's try GTA 5 and let's have some fun with this thing. Woo. Well, there we go. That's 
to it up. <laughs> and you can feel the weight pushing you back as you get higher. Oh, this is weird. I left the thing on full power. <laughs> that was <laughs> Whoa. That was intense. Oh my goodness. Feeling. You can feel those those corkscrews. I don't know how it was being done. That mess with my head. That was mental. So taking you over to the side. Whoa. Accelerating, I'm in the back suit. Move. Oh, you can feel like, you can feel the downhill motion. That's nuts, right? Why, why, why? Break, 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 break. Oof. This is bad. I just, I can't handle a 212 miles an hour machine, but give me a Ford. Ooh, oh, look at the brake. You, Flings me forward a bit. Get those lines. I'm falling behind. Accelerate. This is your chance. Where's the map? Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Straight. Let's go. Ah! Erase the best scores. Oh, he's going 88 miles per hour. I'm gonna. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going through time. Whoa! Okay, oh, you feel it getting chucked. I just wanted to. Whoa, whoa. Just wanted to. Oh, that's crazy. Where are I supposed to put this on? Turn, turn, turn. Go, go, go. Let's catch up. Go. Sensitive steering. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Are you changing the angles? Get around the side. No way! This is sick! And it's shaking! Because I'm going so fast! I've got to catch up. No, don't lose control, don't lose control, don't lose control! <laughs> I 
this is amazing. So fast, they can't handle it. I'm so far back because I'm so fast. Woo! Break, 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 break. Whoa. Straight through. Oh, up the hill, up the hill. Oh. Gravity takes over. All the bin men are out. It's my rubbish. Oh, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Uh. Whoa, the motorbike's crazy. What about a wheelie? Whoa! <laughs> this is so good! Alright, <laughs> uh, stop, 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 stop. Oof. Right, now I've got one foot. Dude, how am I supposed to wheelie with you there? Let me just reverse. Oh, I can feel the gravity changing, okay. A little acceleration, a light one, a light one. Lean back! Whoa! Oof. It's the police, they're after me with their one one star. I'm notorious. They call me the SRG. Oof. Oh, I cannot do donuts. <laughs> you feel them hit the car. Oh, that's weird. You feel them bounce off the bonnet. Doof. <laughs> you can see this. <laughs> this this was it was crazy it had so much power on it it's really really impressive for something you, that you just have in your home for sure anytime someone comes over i'm getting them in this to play some virtual reality games and surprisingly it doesn't take up much room either and if you take the footrest off and you don't have a backrest on it you can just turn it around and cover it up and put it to one side which is great it does have a rather small plug though you, it's going to be near a, wall, near a wall. You're going to need an extension cable if you're going to pop this anywhere that gives you good coverage to actually spin around. It. So that's it for me today, guys. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this one. I know I did. This is definitely an experience that I've never had before in virtual reality. It took it to the next level. It was absolutely crazy. If you're also interested in having this compatible with Star Wars Squadrons, please please start poking EA to enable telemetry so this can actually be compatible with it because that would be crazy to play that game flying in space with this. That's a dream come true for some people. So please subscribe to the channel, stick around for next time so you don't miss out on any of the latest and greatest virtual reality games, news and reviews. Thanks to my patrons, you absolute legends. Happy gaming, guys. Good day.